Today's video is about a common but an irritating problem that is motion sickness. Hi friends, I am Dr. Karamat. This is Scientific Doctor channel. In this channel, every week a health related topic is explained via a video. If you want to see these videos, subscribe to this channel. Also press the bell icon adjacent to it to get instant notifications whenever new videos are released. This week's video is about motion sickness. Motion sickness, sea sickness, these are the same terms. What is happening is our sense of balance is determined by our inner ear. There are organs inside the inner ear called semicircular canals, utricle and saccule which determine our position in relation to the environment. This is aided by obviously vision. So you see that how you are and also by our joints and muscles which detect your position. If there are any conflicting signals from these organs, you get motion sickness. So when you travel in a car, okay, so if you are not seeing the movement, you are watching a you know, magazine or you are watching your mobile phone. So your vision is sending a different signal that it is static. But your semicircular canal may be sending that you are moving. So there are conflicting signals. These create abnormalities or abnormal sensation which is called as motion sickness. What are these symptoms? You can have obviously nausea, vomiting, a sense of not being well, sweating, drooling of saliva, headache, tiredness. So all these can last from few minutes to even few days. This is usually self-limiting. That is once the motion ceases, you don't have this you know, sickness. But for some individuals, this may range from few hours to few days even after that movement or the motion ceases. For them, ultimately treatment is required. Are there any treatment for this motion sickness? Yes, there are definitely treatment as well as prevention. Most of these are what are called as antihistamines. The medicines which are commonly used for cold or for allergy, these are the same medicines which can be used to treat or prevent motion sickness. But for many of these medicines, the side effect is little drowsiness. So if you take these medicines, you might feel drowsy after that. So you need to think about that. Probably you need to avoid driving after taking this medicine. So you need to check about that. Many of these medicines need to be taken well in advance before you embark on a journey. Is motion sickness a serious disease? No, this is very common. Understand there is conflicting signals. Your sensitivity may differ. For example, children might have more motion sickness compared to adults. Females slightly have more. Pregnancy actually exacerbates. Older individuals, older age, probably because you are all these apparatus are getting weakened so you might have motion sickness again but any individual can have this this is only a matter of sensitivity with excessive movement they can also have this motion sickness so motion sickness can also happen not only during travel can also happen during these joy rides in amusement parks and even during 3d simulation of movements so it is not only actual movement but in 3D simulation of movement also you can have motion sickness. As I said, this can happen to everybody. So, but this is not a serious illness. How to prevent this from happening? So, as I said, there is conflicting signals. You try to avoid the conflicts. So, if you are traveling in an automobile, you try to sit in the front row, front seat of a car and try to look at the horizon so that there is perception of motion so that there is no conflicting signals so your motion sickness is less. Try to avoid you know, watching mobiles or reading some stuff, watching objects in close range when you are traveling. Try not to sit in seats which are you no know, facing away from the direction of motion. So if you are moving in one direction, if you are sitting perpendicular to that direction or exactly opposite to the direction, you are going to get more motion sickness. So try to sit in those seats which are facing towards the direction. And 
if you are sitting in a train so it should be in the forward direction you should be preferably sitting near the window similarly if you are if you get motion sickness in the flight try to get seats near the wings in the front portion of wings which have the minimum you no know, shake or minimum motion so that you don't get motion sickness so you can keep your eyes close so that there is no signal from the eyes instead of conflicting signals you are cutting off the signal or you may doze off you may just sleep chewing gums or just a general motion of chewing that itself is known to prevent or reduce this motion sickness and similarly avoiding a heavy meal greasy food oily food before embarking on a journey also reduces this but you should not have empty stomach so eat normally don't eat heavy oily or greasy stuff ginger is also known to prevent we don't know ginger or peppermint whether by chewing action or whether there is some inherent stuff in it so you can try those also avoid strong odors when you are traveling because that is also known to cause nausea you are having nausea due to motion sickness this can aggravate it so avoid strong odors let in fresh air so if you are traveling and if you are having fresh air that is known to reduce your motion sickness so you might know roll down your windows let in fresh air that might reduce you so these are the tips to prevent motion sickness but if you tend to have motion sickness even with these measures you can get medicines for this these antihistamines are usually available over the counter or with doctor's prescription which you can reuse again so with this you can you no know, get rid of this or get hold of this motion sickness but remember if you take any medicine try to know the side effect of this medicine if it is going to interfere with driving or operating heavy machinery if it has any sedative side effect friends hopefully this would have sensitized you about this motion sickness problem if you like this video share it among your friends and relatives if you want to see such videos subscribe to this channel till we meet again bye